Hello everyone, Cameron with Jeff here with another Magi Nation vlog and this is for episode 7? Yeah, episode 7, First Glacier. So basically the episode starts with them in the Coliseum training and when we see some hieroglyphs and that's basically we get a quick knowledge on what the hell they are. Yeah, something about the show is that every episode will have a wee fat bit for it here and there. Never mind. And then like this just giant blaze of like purple energy just comes out and then Eden falls into it and she ends up in the void uh that reminds because when I saw that I was like oh I thought that was just episode I thought that, I thought that became a thing in season two after they defeated Agram and then they just kept popping out of everywhere and that's why they needed to get the fine the final hiring I think it was called but they, but no, so she ends up caught in Agram's castle, and then basically, a, she meets this guy who can predict it, and he helps her escape, and then gets to a wall, and then he says, well, is there something in that Book of Elders that can help us? And she basically says, wait, I never told anyone about the Book of Elders, and then it's real, that's Agram. And then, and then basically she he tries to push her to the dark side. Yeah, no, it's as generic as you will think. You know, all the generic lines are in there. Join me and we can rule the moonlands together. Be, unleash your destiny. Your friends are holding your back. You know, it's the most generic thing ever. You know, no, okay. Think of any, no, just look in your head right now. Think of evil guy trying to, pred trying to turn a good guy to the dark side. Agram said it. I can guarantee you. Just replace Universe with Moonlands and Jedi or Warrior with Final Dreamer. We get to see a lot more of Agram. It's a bit he's a bit more charismatic. It's revealed that he's blind, but because of his void energy he basically can see anyway, so there's no point in making him blind. And and basically, they escape after after she's revealed doing like some weird magic thing, which does a repel spell, which is something I remember because I remember throughout the show she actually is like the more magic type. Um, they're trying to find her, and it's only because she leaves some leaves that they find her. Except I'm just yelling in my head, "Use your moon sense! Use your moon sense!" Jesus, your moon sense was able to find Tony. How can I not find her? At least you'll have some relative knowledge of where to look. Then, but they also bring like Orwin with them, who's like the main guy. And throughout this episode, I kept thinking, is this the episode where more where Morin gets corrupted? Because I remember it like in a bit like for the majority of season one, Morin actually gets corrupted by Agram and becomes a really big threat. I think I was just like, is that what they're going for? Did it happen that early? Yeah. Um Yeah, and we also see that the core is kind of a mess. It's kind of a destroyed bony area. I don't know. It's more than I remember. I remember the core just being nothing in my head. But at least they had like some knowledge. But then we got... But then we had Hieroglyphs that looked the exact same as the one in Vashnaru. And I'm like... Are they building a connection between Vashnaru and the core? Like, is there some history between that? I'm interested. I swear it better be brought up in an episode. It better be an episode bringing up how Vashnaru is related to the core in some way. I remember some. I remember how one of our characters is related to the core. Spoilers, that's for season two, but I remember that one of our cat one of the main trio is actually really as a bloodline to the core. But um 
yeah, I'm sorry, I don't really know what to say for this episode. This was just a really solid episode in my head. I actually think it's my best. The stakes are pretty high. You get to see the main bad guy. The main bad guy kind of looks like a fool when his spells repel on him. Also, Miss Mordoy is badass because he can summon like three dream creatures at once. Also, he calls one of them the Hiring. Except that's not... Except that's not the core Hiring. And you can't summon Hirings until season two. Jesus. Anyway, my favourite episode so far has a small thoughts, but overall good episode. I've been coming on with 2000. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Leah Carrigans. Bye.